ever wanted to fly like you're in creative, but you're actually in survival? Hey guys, it's Chad. Today we're taking a look at a data pack that if you add to your game will allow you to use some really cool like flying techniques, but it's very, very late in the game. So you're, you're not quite cheating if you've gotten this far in the game. So it's really, really cool. Let me show you how it works. So here we are inside of Minecraft. And the idea with this data pack is that this is sort of an end in game function that you can use like an in-game uh, thing uh, and the main reason is because in order to get what I'm about ready to show you you would have to kill shulkers so you have to do the whole game fight the dragon kill the dragon go to the end cities and you have a one in ten chance of a shulker dropping this now I know it looks like a rocket firework uh but uh this is the flight beacon so it would drop a flight beacon you set it down on the ground and uh it looks like a shulker as well except it has a big difference when you damage it so you're gonna have to try to get this down two and a half hearts oink there you go it says the flight beacon is on and now oh, oh there we go i can fly around so you get this really cool little platform and this is very reminiscent of uh, uh there's some really old school um uh like I, they used to be called magic carpets i believe um but this will allow you as you can see we can get to the top of this tree and you know do whatever uh now i'm actually you know around the tree so if you had a big massive build this would be super duper useful so how does it work how am i controlling uh this little beacon thing um first is once it's activated it is just on uh, automatically you can move uh to the left and right and forward and backwards and stuff just using your normal keys but when you jump the uh, little beacon thing uh, will show up and if you move any in any direction you basically just have levitation you have like uh, flying speed there so look burp, burp, there you go levitation slow falling at the same time which means that you don't move in either up or down which is kind of nice uh, and then if you want to go down you hold down shift so you sneak and then you'll go down into uh, wherever you want to go. And this works pretty well, I gotta say. Uh, now, this does have a range. So this has a 32 block range. And if we get out of that range, we'll just be given slow falling. So there we go, so we're out of the range. So now we have slow falling so that we don't actually deadly, like die if we were like way up in the air or whatever. Uh, so here, let me actually go ahead and jump up here. There we go. Okay, so I'm out of the range. Woo! slow falling wonderful so we don't accidentally die so i think that it's uh pretty cool once we get back in range uh, another thing is if you are in a situation and you want to turn it off from afar you have that option you should have snowballs in your inventory i need to give myself more than just one so make sure you have snowballs before you uh start off on your expeditions and just toss the snowball at the shulker and then it will give you that same slow falling so you don't die if you're in the air and this has been turned off now how do you pick it up once uh it's on the ground because every time you you punch it uh it turns on or off well you just need to make sure you have a good enough weapon i have a diamond axe here wha-bam bam wham there you go and then it will drop the uh, the beacon, uh, just, uh, you know, so that you can pick it up and, and move it around. Now, this is just a simple data pack. So all you have to do is drop it into the data packs folder on in the save and the world save, uh, that you want to, uh, play with this. And then you are good to go and, um, try to get a few so that you can have them, you know, all around your base as you build up and down. If you want to check this out for yourself, check the description down below. Big thanks to Tetra Jack for creating this data pack. Once again, the link to it is in the description. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. Bye.